Sedona has in the rocks, inundated of quartz crystal. So already there's a there's a fine tuning that happens. Already there's a uh, a power or a crystalline power along with the rocks here that has a lot of iron oxide in the rocks. That's why they're red. There's that magnetic iron energy. So it pulls people from afar for spiritual growth. I mean, it's a very transformational place. My name's Amalia Kamateros, and I'm originally from Australia. And what I do and what my service in the world is as a psycho-shamanic practitioner, healer, I work in a shamanic approach and utilize the wisdom of the earth as part of the teachings in my therapies and what I offer to people. Shamanism usually, you know, what it means is a shaman will go into the other world, the spirit world, and be able to retrieve from that spirit world messages, wisdoms, and answers for people and return it back into consciousness, return it back to the tribe, return it back to the people. And I've always said that Sedona is an ashram. You know, people come here to do the inner work. Mostly my message and what Mother Earth has taught me throughout these 17 years that I've been here in Sedona, I would want people to tap into Mother Earth as a greater part of their own being.